Hello, oh, this is Sir Patrick One C with another YouTube video for you. For the Evil 2 Total War mod, Stainless Steel, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial video on the civs that are in the early era campaign today. So first, we have the Kingdom of Hungary. This is at 1100 AD for every single one of them. So Kingdom of Hungary is a Christian kingdom, and for the long campaign, you have to eliminate the Republic of Venice, the Holy Roman Empire, and the Byzantine Empire, as well as control some regions. Short campaign, control 25 regions, and you have to eliminate the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. The Kingdom of Aragon is in eastern Spain, and for the long campaign you have to eliminate the factions of Sicily, the Moorish Caliphate, and the Kingdom of Leon, which is Spain over here, basically, main Spain. The Kingdom of Aragon is Barcelona County. The ruler for this civ is Romero the first, who is 1035 to 1064 as well as Sancho Ramirez later on who is his son short campaign rules eliminate factions kingdom system in Moorish Caliphate hold 25 regions Crusader states located down here you have to eliminate the factions of the Fatimid Caliphate, which is Egypt, and the Sejuk Sultanate, which is the Turks. That's all 50 regions. For short, it's 25 regions to eliminate factions of the Fatimid Caliphate. Much easier one for the first time. Okay, and we have the Khwarezmian Empire here to the right. Right here, in blue. Conquered all of Persia from the Shedrick Turks and defeated Kutluk, the Gur Khan of Bukhara, Kitan Khanate. He had conquered all the lands from the river Jaxarit to the Persian Gulf, and Allah Adin Muhammad II declared himself Shah and demanded formal recognition from the Caliph in Baghdad. For the victory conditions, for short, you have to eliminate the factions of the Shedrick Sultanate, which is the Turks. For the long campaign, hold 50 regions, including Mesopotamia, Judea, Sarja, Azerbaijan, Karakam, East Azerbaijan, <laughs> Mesopotamia, Arburs, and you have to eliminate the factions of the Gordon Horde, which is the Mongols, which you can play as typically, and the Sejuk Sultanate, which is the Turks. Up here, you have the North. You have the whole 50 regions, and you have to eliminate the kingdoms of Denmark, factions of Scotland, and the Kingdom of England. So long and short is eliminated factions, the Kingdom of Denmark and the Kingdom of England. Over here we have Lithuania. We have to eliminate the factions of the Republic of Novgorod and Kaiba Nus so while holding 25 regions for the short campaign rules. For long, 50 regions, eliminate the factions of the Kingdom of Poland, Republic of Novgorod, and Kaiba Nus. Over here we have Kaiba Nus. And here. But not this part. This is this is the right here. So this is the area of Kiev. If you played Total War, that's like around this area right here. This makes sense upon their placement. For this, you have to hold 50 regions, and you have to eliminate the factions of the Kuman Khanate, the Byzantine Empire, and the Republic of Novgorod, which is Russia up here. Hold 25 regions. Eliminate the factions of Kumate Khanate and Republic of Novgorod for a short campaign. It's five months. Okay, here we have Venice, Eastern Italy area, holding some other regions. You have to eliminate the factions of Republic of Genoa and the Byzantine Empire for short campaign rules. While long campaign rules, 50 regions eliminate King of Sicily, Republic of Genoa, and the Byzantine Empire. They're long hated enemies. Over here, on the boot of Italy, we have Sicily and Pamplona. Right here, that's Pamplona area. 
First, you have to hold 50 regions and eliminate the Byzantine Empire, the Moorish Caliphate, and the Kingdom of Aragon, which again is Eastern Spain over here. Byzantine Empire is here, Moorish Caliphate is here. As for long, short conditions, hold 25 regions, eliminate Byzantine Empire, and the Kingdom of Aragon. For the Republic of Genoa, this is North and Italy. For the short campaign rules, hold 25 regions, eliminate factions, Republic of Venice, and Kingdom of Sicily. For the long regions, hold or for the long campaign rules, hold 50 regions and eliminate Republic of Venice, Kingdom of Sicily, and the Holy Roman Empire, which is Germany's sort of right about here, this area. So, long campaign rules are 50 regions, short campaign rules, 25 regions. I'm just going to list the elimination factions now. Okay, so for the Kingdom of Denmark, long, 50 regions, eliminate the Holy Roman Empire and the Kingdom of Norway and hold these other regions here. Denmark's up here. For short, 25 regions, eliminate factions, Holy Roman Empire, Kingdom of Norway. For the Fatimid Caliphate, that's Egypt down here. 50 regions, you have to eliminate Sejuk Sultanate, Turks, and the Crusader State. Um, I'm, I'm recording. Hold 30 regions and eliminate the factions of the Cedric Sultanate, the Crusader State, for short campaign rules. For Scotland, you have to hold 25 regions and eliminate the factions, Kingdom of England and Kingdom of Norway. For short campaign, long campaign, 50 regions, eliminate the factions, Kingdom of England and Kingdom of Norway. For the Kumen Khanate, here, the wrath of the Mongols. So, for the long campaign, hold 50 regions, including these, and you have to eliminate the factions of Kaivanos and the Karzamian Empire, which is the Iraq region down here. Short campaign, eliminate factions of Kaivanos and Karzamian Empire, hold 25 regions. Sejuk Sultanate, the text, the mighty text. Hold 50 regions, including these regions. And you have to eliminate the Fatimid Caliphate, Egypt. The Byzantine Empire, over here. The Crusader States. And the Khwarezmian Empire. Short, 30 regions you have to hold. Not 25 this time. You have to eliminate the Byzantine Empire and the Crusader States. For France, hold 50 regions, including these ones here. Then you have to eliminate the Republic of Genoa, the Holy Roman Empire, and the Kingdom of England. For long, and for short, hold 30 regions, eliminate the Republic of Genoa, and the Kingdom of England. For the Holy Roman Empire, Hold 30 regions, eliminate the Republic of Genoa and the Kingdom of Denmark. That is for the short campaign. Long campaign, 50 regions, including these. Eliminate the Republic of Genoa, Kingdom of Denmark, and the Kingdom of France. Remember, Genoa is here, France is here, Denmark is up here. For the Kingdom of England, hold 50 regions including these, and you have to eliminate the Kingdom of Scotland and the Kingdom of France. Scotland, France. That's for long. Short, hold 25 regions. Eliminate King of Scotland, King of France. And for Portugal, one little city state this time. Hold 50 regions, including those, and you have to eliminate the Moorish Caliphate, the Kingdom of Leon and the Kingdom of Aragon. As for long, short, hold 25 regions, eliminate the Moorish Caliphate. Simpler. For Poland, long campaign rules. Hold 50 regions, including these, and eliminate the Holy Roman Empire, Lithuania, and Kaivan Lus. 
Okay, so once again, the long campaign rules for Poland are hold 50 regions, er, hold 50 regions, including these territories, these regions. And you have to eliminate the factions, the Holy Roman Empire, Lithuania, and Kyivan Rus. Holy Roman Empire, Lithuania, Kyivan Rus. Short campaign rules. Hold 25 regions and eliminate the factions, the Holy Roman Empire and Lithuania. And now for the Byzantine Empire. For long campaign rules, you have to hold 50 regions and you have to limit, including these, and you have to eliminate the factions, the Republic of Venice, the Kingdom of Sicily, and the Seljuk Sultanate. Sultanate, sorry. So, Venice, this area right here. Kingdom of Sicily, right here on the boot of Italy. And the Seljuk Sultanate is the test. For short campaign rules, hold 25 regions, and you have to eliminate the Republic of Venice, the Kingdom of Sicily, and the Seljuk Sultanate. Now, the Holy Roman Empire is normally very good with the number of mines that they have and the technology that they have. However, you will get swamped, most likely, especially if you're using the hard AI, which I believe is called the Graku AI, something like that, when you set it up. It's supposed to be like the hardest one that backstabs and doesn't hold alliances the most. So now, we have one of the largest territory ones here, the Moorish Caliphate, the Moors. This entire region right here, Northwest Africa and the southern bit of the Iberian Peninsula. For this you have to hold 50 regions including all of these, most of them based in Spain, in the Kingdom of Aragon. You have to eliminate the factions the Kingdom of Portugal, the Kingdom of Leon, which is Spain, and the Kingdom of Aragon, which is Eastern Spain, Barcelona County, right here, this area. That's for long. For short campaign, hold 25 regions, eliminate the factions of Portugal, Leon, and Aragon. Now, we have the Kingdom of no sorry, Republic of Novgorod, up here in the Russian territories, in Siberia. For this, you have to hold 50 regions, including these territories here. And you have to eliminate factions, Kingdom of Poland. Lithuania and Kyivan Rus. I believe we've gone over this one. Yes, the point is right here. Okay, so that's Novgorod for the long campaign. Now for short campaign, hold 25 regions, eliminate the factions Lithuania and Kyivan Rus. And last but not least, we have here the Kingdom of Leon. Spain. For the long campaign, hold 50 regions, including me, most of them in the Iberian Peninsula, and you have to eliminate the factions, the Kingdom of Portugal, the Moorish Caliphate, and the Kingdom of Aragon. For the short campaign, you have to hold 25 regions, including eliminating the factions of the Moorish Caliphate and the Kingdom of Aragon. That's for the short campaign. Much short campaigns are always much easier, except you have less time to be able to complete them because they're supposed to be short campaigns. The long campaigns, you have like at least 100 turns normally, and standard medieval too. I've never actually got the max point for the mod for standard steel, but anyways, so that is the long campaign, short campaign with all each individual faction here. There are some you would not see in typical total war, like Kaiser and Rus. You normally wouldn't be able to play Lithuania, Norway, and we normally don't see this Khwarezmian Empire and Iraq region. That's a pretty big. You also normally don't get to play as the Crusader States yourself. So. Let's see if there are others here. Aragon doesn't exist from standard, you know. Spain, they have to take over. Fatima the Caliphate, Egypt normally. Kumun Khanate, we normally are not able to use in the regular medieval two. And for this, not that one. one. One of these here. King of Malayan is normally Spain. 
Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful. And I, it's night here, so I hope you have a very good night. Or depending if you're on the other side of the world, I hope you have a very good day.